What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. This is the final Wi-Fi battle with this team, and I'm really excited because we've had some good battles with this team overall. So, all right, so we are against Exiled Sanin, who's bringing a really cool team. I really respect the fact that he's bringing a, um, not Dreepy, not Dragapult, Dracloak. I really respect that fact, so... He's also bringing the Zygarde with dog form, which is actually one of my favorite Pokemon also. I've never used it, but I really love the design. Um, but yeah, we're both running the Dragon Knight. Has, he, he has some really cool Pokemon, man. I finally gave this Toxapex Regenerator after the final Wi-Fi battle. It's about time, you guys may say. So I don't want to start Toxapex, mostly because he has that gosh darn Zygarde. And I don't want him to start with the Zygarde. So we're going to start with Bombi. Get our Sticky Web up. Even though he has three flying Pokemon. I want to make sure that the Zygarde does not punish my team. So, yeah. I think this is three times already in a row that we've seen the Gyarados. That is actually very interesting. Is Gyarados making a comeback? Gyarados has always been a good Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. We're home field advantage because we're in Turf Field Stadium. So, we cannot let this... Oh, oh, okay. I got you, bro. I see how you want to play this. Now, I do feel like I need Rebombi. I really do. I am afraid of this thing packing the um, gosh darn Thunderbolt, though. We're just going to sticky web. We're going to say, oh, well, set up the sticky web. He doesn't have any defoggers that I know of on his team, so... Oh, turn one, Dynamax. Very cool. Very cool. That's all I got to say about that. Wow. Very aggressive play going for the turn one, Dynamax. You know, I didn't want to do this, but you've kind of forced me to, homie. I'm a Dynamax on you, too. So we're going to set up that sticky web. This Duraludon can't do anything to us, to be honest. What are you gonna do? Steel spike? Mm. You're still spiking it up, huh? What I can do, and I really wanna do this, I want to go out into the beware, set up some max knuckles, and try to get a sweep going. Though, it's not really realistic because, you know, he has some flying type, he has flying type Pokemon that are not gonna get slowed down by that. That's a lot of damage, wow! So he has a lot of Pokemon that are not going to get phased by the sticky web, so part of me does not want to go out into Beware. Now, I know for sure Beware is probably going to be my Dynamax Pokemon, but I'm not going to go for it quite yet. So as a matter of fact, what I really want to do, Dragonite Fire Punch. That sounds very tempting. Okay, yeah, because no Stealth Rock is up. I don't think Dragonite will pick up a KO against the Gyarados, but hear me out. Hear me out. We actually, I think, you know, I think uh, Dragonite's going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. I don't know. We're going to Dragon Dance. You're going to hit me with that. I know you're going to hit me with that, um, with that uh, Dragon type attack. Max Worm win. So we're going to go back at neutral attack, but I am fast. What? We're multi. It's a crit. No wonder. Hey, you. It's a crit. That mattered a lot, actually. That crit mattered a lot. Um, I don't know what to do, to be honest. All right, we're just going to go out into the giant beware. We're not going to turn giant yet, but we're going to go beware. And we're going to hit this thing with an earthquake. I think I outspeed. I'm 252 speed, I think. Unless I'm, I invested into HP, I don't remember. But... Yeah, he actually outspeeds me. Body press. I'll be able to take this, right? We can take this? Yeah, we can. We definitely can. All right, super effective. And we're just going to hit this thing with an earthquake, and it's going to go down. Now, if Gyarados comes out, I am definitely going to go out into my Toxapex. And I'm just going to I'm gonna haze it out, because I do not want this thing to set up any dragon dances on me. And I'm going to hit it with the Scald after I haze it. That's a good plan. Unless it's packing an earthquake, then we're in really big trouble. But, you know... We gotta play aggressive sometimes. We really do. So Draclo comes out. Scratch my idea. We're not gonna do any of that. 
Dracloak is such a cool Pokemon. I don't even know what you're gonna do with that thing, but it's scary. I'll tell you that much. Um, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go Sylveon here. I'm not afraid of this Dracloak. You're not gonna go for the ghost type attack because I'm a normal type. You're probably gonna wanna hit me with either a fire type attack or a dragon type attack. Psychic Fangs, actually. Forget what I said. You know why? Everything I say does not matter. Hyper Voice. I really want a Hyper Voice here. Even if you go Charizard, I'm gonna go Hyper Voice. That's what we're gonna do. Hyper Voice is gonna hurt a lot. We outspeed the Dracloak. I don't think Dracloak's a fast Pokemon anyways, but yeah. Dracloak goes down. Not a big threat, to be honest, but I was curious to see what else it packed. That reminds me, the next team we're gonna use, we've already featured this team before, but this next, this next team, and if you guys, this is gonna be a big hint, especially if you guys have been with me since the beginning, but um, our next team is a team inspired and built for my daughter, Arya. So I'm excited to bring that team back. It's a very good team. Um, at least from what I remember, we haven't, that, that was since like Wi-Fi battle number nine or something like that. It's been a while since we've used that team. Since the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think. It's, it's been a while. So I'm excited. That's the only team I'll ever bring back, to be honest. Is that, um, that team. I was almost gonna say the Pokemon is built around, but I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. Now, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Exiled Sanin? He's probably thinking if he should go out into Zygarde. Zygarde's gonna go down easily. You're gonna go down easily, and let me tell you why. Because you're caught in the sticky web, and I'm about to hit you with that Hyper Voice that you're weak to. You should have gone out into like Charizard or Gyarados or something. So I'm just gonna Hyper Voice here. That's it, that's all we're gonna do. Oh, Extreme Speed, that's what you're gonna do. That's fine, that's okay. I ain't even mad, I'm just gonna Hyper Voice it up. Zygarde goes down. Now, I have to think now, is my Espeon worth it? And I think it's worth it. I really think it's still worth saving. Blaze comes out the Charizard. I'm not afraid of this thing, especially because I got the Toxapex in the back and the and the Raichu. Um, yeah, Raichu is actually valuable to me also. So I'm just gonna go out into the Toxapex. Now, if he comes out into the Dragonite, I can just Bolt Switch out of there with Raichu and um, break the multi scale and do some damage. So Inferno happens. And it actually hits, that's surprising. Toxic X obviously gets burned since it's a guaranteed burn. And it's gonna offset our Black Sludge, unfortunately, but I can at least fire off the Scald, and if you switch, I really hope something gets burned. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, I do have the Haze for this, um, for this Dragonite also, so I'm not afraid of any of his Pokemon at this point. I really am not, and I haven't even Dynamaxed yet. I still get a Dynamax in this battle because you got to Dynamax. And you use it turn one, so that's on you, my homie. Okay, so withdraw Blaze, go out into the Charizard. I mean, the Dragonite, there you go. Here's the Dragonite. We're gonna Scald and hopefully get a burn. Get a burn, I know you want to get that burn. Burn, baby, burn, baby. Nope, nope, does not happen, that's okay. Now, you're probably gonna go Dragon Dance. And if you do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna haze, try to predict that. Thunder Punch, actually. Okay, so this is gonna fail. This is embarrassing. Very embarrassing. We're just gonna haze. Okay. So obviously, we should be able to live whatever thing, whatever this thing wants to throw at us. So, as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna recover here. No, I'm gonna scald. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this uh, Toxic Effects for the Regenerator. I really want to get a burn off of this thing because if it is indeed weakness policy like mine then it's not gonna do anything hurricane's not gonna do anything it does a lot actually it's a crit dude why are you getting and it's a wow wow and i smack myself in the face a little bit of salt just a little bit the good news is that this thing has regenerator so it's still valuable to us now I think Beware has done his job, though. Beware is done. I really wanted to go giant on Beware, but it's done. It's done his job. We're gonna switch out. Go out into the Beware. 
We should be able to take a Thunder Punch for sure. Hurricane probably won't take that. What is with all this luck, bruh? This RNG hates me today. All right, I'm gonna Ice Punch. Hurricane, miss? Wow. That's just my luck, ladies and gentlemen. That's my luck right there. So as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go right to you and I'm just gonna Dynamax. I'm not gonna lose this because of, of these rolls. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go out into the right shoe. This thing probably has nothing for me, so I'm just gonna max lightning here. And it's it's game. It's game. You really wanna try to hit me with Dynamax turn one break? Well, you're gonna get Dynamax turn whatever this is towards the end of the battle. I'm gonna end this battle with Dynamax. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna one shot your entire team with the right shoe. Probably not gonna happen, but I'm, I'm threatening you right now. Right shoe is a threat. Right to the big threat. Literally, right now it's big. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and max lightning here. We'll be able to outspeed everything, even with the choice card, thanks to its uh, Surge Surfer. And we'll be able to take this attack from the Dragonite. And if you disconnect, then that's okay, because like I said, you Dynamax first. Oh, oh, we can't get switched out anyways. Yeah, I got scared for a second. You really thought, huh, homie? You really thought you can do that. 100 degrees today still. I'm actually recording the same Wi-Fi battle the last time I said that. I don't remember when I said that, but I said, uh, all right. The Dragonite's gonna go down. The rest of his team is gonna go down to Raichu. And you don't know how satisfying that is to me. We just got a Raichu. I don't wanna say sweep because it didn't sweep, but I, I guess it cleaned it up. Raichu's a janitor, if you will. The school janitor. Dragonite goes down. And whatever comes out next is also going to get down. Dude, you seriously shouldn't have Dynamax. You really thought you can bully me like that. Well, you're completely wrong. I actually used to Dynamax all the time. When this game first came out, I wanted to explore all the Gigantamax Pokemon. So I built teams around all the available Gigantamax Pokemon. And, um, and built and Gigantamaxed. So I know how to, I know how to play this mechanic very well. I really do. All right, Max Lightning, gonna knock this thing out. And Gyarados is gonna come out and cry to Gyarados, mom. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Man, see, this is why I, I feel bad Dynamaxing. Because when I Dynamax at the perfect time, I'll, I'll win, I'll win. And this is why Dynamax is a very really dangerous phenomenon and something that should not have been quite you know, it, it's too powerful. It's way too powerful. Gyarados is gonna go down easily. You don't threaten me, Gyarados. You don't threaten me. Or any of my Pokemon. I ain't afraid of you. Raichu goes for the Thunderbolt. Gyarados is gonna go down. There you have it. That's the Swipe battle. Quick one, too. I cannot wait for Diamond and Pearl, where there's no more Dynamax, just Mega Evolution. I really love Mega Evolution. I don't feel it's broken. This is really broken, Dynamaxes. Because for, for Mega Evolution, you can at least have, you can tell who's going to Mega Evolve, you know? And you can kind of make predictions around that. Don't be afraid of Mega Evolution when it comes out, because Generation 6 was actually really fun because of it, at least in my opinion. There was some broken Mega Pokemon like Mega Kangaskhan, but it's a really fun phenomenon. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And thank you for watching this Wi-Fi battle. I hope you enjoyed this also. Subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles and leave a like on this video. And I appreciate it so much, but it's your boy Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys.